Okay, some of you guys have asked me how I do the um, the marble or pour painting effect on the Procreate um, app. So I'm going to show you. So I have my iPad here. And I'm going to pick a canvas. So I'm going to go to um, 6,000 times 6,000. And again, I'm doing this on my Apple tablet um, using the Procreate app. So now here's my um, canvas. I'm going to click on canvas, crop and resize, go to settings, and right here on DPI, I'm going to change that to 1000. Okay, so now I have the screen here. So next all I'm going to do is I'm going to add some colors. And you can pick what brush you want. You can fool around with different textures. Right now I'm using Dove Lake under textures. So I'm just going to start making some random blotches. Want them to touch and overlap a little bit. And again, you can use different textures or um, brushes or whatever you want to do. You can add in some other stuff. I'll just play around here and I'll add in some, some random stuff. Okay, so now we got a bunch of colors on our on our canvas. I'm going to go up here and click this little wand guy, the second icon over. Then I'm going to go down here to liquify and click it. And then it brings up all these different things you can do. The first thing I'm going to do is click on push. And I'm make it as large as I can. And then I'm just going to start pushing some of this color around. So you need to get a nice mar marbling effect. And you can play with that as, as long as you want until you get it how you like it. Okay, now you can leave it like that if you just want a marble effect. And if you want to move on to the pore painting effect, go here to reconstruct. Click on reconstruct. Make the brush a bit smaller. And then just press down. And it's going to make these wonderful bubbles. And I like to do different sizes. And if you do someone, if you do one you don't like, you can just click with two fingers and it will take it off. Oops, I didn't mean to remove all of those, but you get what I mean. It, it will, I don't know why sometimes it removes just one and sometimes it removes several. I'm not really sure. I haven't figured that out yet. Sorry to make you watch me do all these again. Oh God, I don't know why it's doing that. Usually it just goes back one, but today for whatever reason, because I'm taping it's Removing all of them. So anyway, just mix up the dots. Put a bunch on there. Of all different sizes.
Okay, so once you get as many dots on there as you like, um, um, you can just leave it like this if you like it. I like the full circles, actually, but some people want to look more real like the pore painting. So there's a couple ways to do that. You can click on Edge. And when you click on Edge, it's just going to bring the edges closer together. See how that brings them together? It looks a little bit more fluid, like a real pore painting. Or you can go back to push again and then just kind of push them around and make them not totally round. So it's up to you however you want to do it. So anyway, that's pore painting. So, or digital pore painting. So I hope this helped you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.